As you guys can probably see, I've done a little bit of damage to my wrist. It's nothing too major, it's just a slight sprain. I think it was from turning the Star Wars Sphere last week. Now for that reason, I'm going to stay off the lathe this week, and we're going to make ourselves a cool diorama. Now I'm not too sure how I'm going to make this. I've got myself some burl, some resin, some pigments. I've got fake grass, fake moss, fake tree. I've got LED power supply. I've even got some sand. I think the first thing I'm going to do is take my burl, shape it so it fits in the mold, and then just go from there.
Now that I've finished the landscape, the last thing we need to do is put on the bat plane. Now before I put it on, I want to coat it with this product called Liquid Crystal. It's the same stuff they used to make the mood rings back in the 70s, and you can find this on Solar Color Dust website. Now this version is the sprayable version, and I'm going to spray it on by using my cordless airbrush. Now it's time to put on the liquid crystal. Now the more you put on, the better the effect will be. How cool does that look? Now we'll get to know what kind of mood Batman's in. Before I jump into this week's reveal, there's one thing I forgot to mention about Liquid Crystal. If you want to use it on something like an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, it's best to give it a clear coat. You can use something like Rust-Oleum Latex Clear Coat or Pro Finish 1 or even Epoxy Resin. So just keep that in mind if you're going to paint something that has a bit of wear, just put some clear over the top and it'll help protect it. Now let's get on with the reveal. <laughs> 